This is the only total lunar eclipse also known as a blood moon of 2019. The last one was on July 27th of this year, and there won't be another until 2021. Total lunar eclipses are when the Earth is directly between the Sun and the Moon. This means the Moon is lying in the shadow of Earth. During a total lunar eclipse, the Moon usually turns a deep, dark red because it is illuminated by light that has passed through the Earth's atmosphere and has been bent back towards the Moon by refraction, the UK's Royal Museum's Greenwich explains. Dust in the atmosphere blocks out the higher frequency blue light waves, but the longer wavelength of red light comes through. January's total lunar eclipse is special as it will also be a supermoon a phenomenon where a full moon coincides with its closest approach to Earth, known as the perigee. This makes the moon appear bigger than normal. These two events mean stargazers in January will see a super blood moon. There was another super blood moon in January 2018. In an interview with Time in July, NASA planetary scientist Rick Elphick said it was unusual to have a total solar eclipse and supermoon fall so closely together it's usually years between lunar eclipses that have supermoons in them, he told the magazine. We just happen to be in a seasonal cycle where last year there was one and then this year, there is one and I don't think there will be another supermoon eclipse for a while. Lunar eclipse will be visible from North and South America and Western parts of Europe and Africa. Elphick said the best way to see the eclipse is through binoculars telescopes can be useful but overpowering, if you're using a telescope, you get a close-up view of the moon, but it's really a much more dramatic thing to see against the night sky with binoculars. That's your best bet. January's full moon is also known as the full wolf moon, according to the old farmer's alama. This name is given by Native American and early colonials as wolves would howl outside villages at night from hunger. January will be the first of three supermoons. The next two will take place on February 19 and March 21, with February's being the largest and closest of the trio. Lunar Eclipse 2019, Super Blood Wolf Moon and what's so special about it? Eclipse in 2019, a trifecta of lunar activities, a total lunar eclipse, a super blood moon and a wolf moon, will take place on January the 20th to 21st. The whole thing is being called the Super Blood Wolf Moon. Stargazers around the world are in for a treat as January 2019 is going to be an exciting astronomical month. From a total lunar eclipse to a meteor shower and a partial solar eclipse, the sky will witness some rare events this month. However, the most awaited among these will occur on January the 20th and 21 with a trifecta of lunar activities, a total lunar eclipse, a super blood moon and a wolf moon. The whole thing is being called the Super Blood Wolf Moon. Why you can't afford to miss it? Because, it will be the last total lunar eclipse until May the 26th 2021. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow, just as a solar eclipse occurs when part of the Earth passes through the moon's shadow. However, a total lunar eclipse occurs when the moon and sun are on opposite sides of Earth. To get you up to speed before the phenomenon, we try to answer all of your questions here. A lunar trifecta a blood moon, when the moon, earth, and sun perfectly align so that the entire moon is shielded from the sun's rays, wayward beams of sunlight filter through earth's atmosphere, coloring the moon a fiery red and resulting in a total eclipse. The moon takes on a reddish tint, hence, it is known as a blood moon. The brightness of the red glow depends on the amount of dust and clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. More dust can make the moon look a darker red. Supermoon, this month's full moon will also be especially close to Earth, making it a so-called supermoon. Full moons can occur at any point along the moon's elliptical path, but when a full moon occurs at or near the perigee closest distance to Earth, it looks slightly larger and brighter than a typical full moon. That's what the term supermoon refers to. During a supermoon, 
the brightness of the moon can increase up to 30%, according to NASA. At its largest, it can appear 14% larger in diameter than the smallest full moon. Wolf Moon, the full moon phenomenon in January has long been known as the Wolf Moon. It was named so by Native Americans and medieval Europeans, after the howling of hungry wolves lamenting the midwinter paucity of food. Together, the Trifecta event this January will be known as the Super Blood Wolf Moon. When and where now that you have a good sense of how spectacular the lunar eclipse this month will be, here's when and where you can best view it from. According to a National Geographic report, the total lunar eclipse will begin at 10.11 a.m. East on January 21 and will last for 62 minutes. Most people in Asia, including India, will miss the complete eclipse, while people in Eastern Africa and Eastern Europe will be able to see the partial lunar eclipse. The 3.5-hour event will be visible from the US, Greenland, Iceland, Western Europe, and Western Africa. The last lunar eclipse was on July 27, 2018. How to watch lunar eclipses are among the easiest sky-watching events to observe. Simply go out and look up if this month's lunar eclipse is visible in your area. You will not need any special equipment or telescopes. Busting myths according to NASA's website, a supermoon does not cause floods, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, severe weather, or tsunamis, despite what incorrect and non-scientific speculators might suggest. Tidal forces around the world will be particularly high and low, with the moon exerting 42% more force at its closest point to Earth than it does at its farthest according space.com's sky-watching columnist. This extra force doesn't have an appreciable effect on disasters, however. Other events on January the 4th, the first meteor shower of the year, the Quadrantids, will reach its peak, according to a National Geographic report. Rates will range from 60 to 120 shooting stars an hour when seen from a dark location. A partial solar eclipse will begin at sunrise in Asia on January the 5th to 6th, starting in China at 7.34 a.m. local time and moving across Japan, Korea, and Russia. Following the super blood wolf moon, the brightest planets Venus and Jupiter will join forces in a spectacular conjunction at dawn on January the 22nd and will appear to be separated by only two degrees. Comment a stunning celestial trio can be witnessed at dawn on January the 30th, as the moon glides into a tight formation with Jupiter and Venus. By the night of January the 31st, the moon will be less than 2 degrees from Venus. Are you ready for rare super blood wolf moon on January 21st, 2019? End time signs January 2019. Stargazers will witness a trifecta of lunar events in the new year, a total lunar eclipse, a super blood moon and a wolf moon, a nickname for a full moon that appears in the middle of winter. Millions of people across North and South America and portions of Western Europe and Africa will be able to catch the rare sight overnight on January 20th into January 21st, according to National Geographic. For a few hours, the moon will give off a bright reddish glow. A total lunar eclipse can happen only when the sun, earth and moon are perfectly lined up, anything less than perfection creates a partial lunar eclipse or no eclipse at all, space.com explains. You won't want to miss it. Earth won't experience another total lunar eclipse, which occurs when the entire moon enters Earth's shadow, until May 2021, NASA estimates. What is a wolf moon? The January full moon was nicknamed the wolf moon, and occasionally the old moon, 
by Native American tribes after wolves that howled outside as they hunted for food in midwinter.